being concentrated is everything. In the end, I think a lot of people get caught up in fashion and forget that in the end, fashion still needs to be a business. So you still need to have a, uh, a business model like that. So without you know, concentration, it's very hard, obviously, having a finite business model. So in the end, you know, aside from the sexiness and kind of fun aspects of fashion, you, you have to actually have a business part of it to continue and allow it to be a business that can grow over the years and you know, uh, be sustainable for that degree. Yeah, I mean, collaborations are really key to us, and I think what we try to find in most collaborations is really um, a similar kind of synergy, but at the same time, very different one. So really, it's about opening up demographics in, in all my collaborations. I really try to find you know, someone who's an expert in a different thing that I appreciate. And the, the common trend is really uh, tradition and, again, focus and concentration. So I think you know, it's hard for somebody to do a lot of different things well. But it's obviously much more pragmatic and feasible for one person to concentrate and do that one thing really well. It's hard to be you know, an expert or a master in a lot of different things. So I think you know, uh, before you extend your brand or, or focus, you need to do that one thing really well. So for me, it's also a way to kind of educate myself on other people's trades. So whether it's jeans, watches, ties, clothing, uh, sunglasses, uh, who would like to know what any of those industries are, what they're about, so I kind of get to walk through the processes and the traditions in each of those respective industries through my collaboration. So it's really an educative uh, practice. At the same time, um, I try to find these concentrated individuals uh, that are kind of leaders in their respective trades, and through that, I'm able to also expand the demographics and, you know, mutually, that is, uh, they, they get to lend themselves to my demographics and vice versa. Growing pains are, are endless uh, and, you know, never go away. Um, so it's not something that you ever kind of supersede. But I think it's probably business partners. You know, business partners can be good, can be bad. Um, in the end, they're always, uh, it's always a difficult thing and, you know, requires a lot of um, seeing eye to eye on. So I think originally when you start a business, it's really hard getting, business, getting you know, that eye to eye basis with your partner because the business itself evolves naturally in so many different ways. So it's hard to allow each respective business partner to evolve with that vision and, and model. And I think at the same time, you know, having one unified vision is everything. Without you know, having one finite one, it's hard to really ever create anything concrete. Hi, my name is Matthew Shumlar, and I'm a thrasher.